Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and today we are going to be uh, we're going to be starting off a little playthrough in this uh, this quite fantastic game about making games. Okay, so. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Awesome. Awesome. I like it. Before you can start your adventure, you need to give your upcoming company a name. Um, okay. What about, um... What about... The Potato Dev Studios. What about something like that? Would that be? What about what about the Potato Devco? I quite like the Potato Devco actually. Um, and what about a player name? A player name. Um, I I I quite like. How how do you spell Johnny? Johnny? Do you spell it like that or do you spell it Johnny? Joni? No, I think that. Yeah, let's spell it like that. Let's Johnny Boy. There we go. A nice, a nice classic name. But, uh, now you can, now you can really see my uh, my terrible spelling shining through. Uh, that's okay though. What does this thing do? Game length: thirty-five years. Recommended. You know what? If it's recommended, that is that is fine with me. Um. Oh my goodness, Johnny Boy, Johnny Boy, you have <laughs> wow. That is that is very blonde hair. Uh, what about what about some other shirts? Oh, that is that is nice. That is nice. That is very nerdy. Uh, I quite like that. You look like the perfect person to be to to be uh, developing games in your garage. Um, okay, good. So I played this game uh, a little while ago, but you know I'm coming back to it because you know it's a, it's a great game. And so uh, so I thought we'd uh, we'd we'd play through it together. If you've got any game name suggestions, then by the way, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. And be sure to like this video if you want to see more, which I hope you do because I enjoy making it. Okay, good. Let's continue. Uh, unlock hints. Uh, since you've played the game before, you can choose to use all the previously gained hints in this new game. No! We don't want any hints! Oh, there you go, you just popped into existence. Uh, let us develop a new game. Uh, what, what do we want to, what do we want to create? Uh, a military... A military simulation game. Yeah, like, uh, okay, what about, uh... What what what, mili what famous military simulation games do I know? Uh, you know, Call of Duty, I suppose that's a military simulation game, to an extent, or Arma Three, perhaps, or Arma Two, or Arma Anything. What about Arma Five Thousand? I quite like Arma Five Thousand. There we go. That's that's Arm Five Thousand. Let's let's uh, Arma Five Thousand. Or in fact, what about Karma Five Thousand? There we go. Nice little Reddit joke in there. Ha <laughs> ha! I know. I'm 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 absolutely hilarious. No, that was a joke. I'm not hilarious. Okay, uh, pick a platform. PC. It's got to be PC. You know, if you're a true gamer, it's got to be PC. PC Master Race all the way. Uh, I'm joking. You know, any any preference of, of console is uh, is absolutely fine. Okay, 2D 2D graphics. Who wants a text? Who wants a text-based military simulation game? I'll tell you, nobody. Nobody wants a text-based military simulation game. No, not at all. Start development. Oh, good. Get to work, Johnny boy. Okay. Um. What is this? Military simulation. We want gameplay. Screw stories and quests. An engine can be quite high, I guess, as well. But gameplay, we really want to focus on. Okay, and I hope that that works out all right. I hope. Uh, I know there's like there's a big there's a big post online somewhere about the the best sliders to do at, at what time. But screw that, screw that. Um, dialogues, yeah, I suppose dialogues are sort of important. Level design is quite important. AI is not really important. Yeah, I suppose let's do that. You know, I'm I'm going on my gut feeling here, so. I'm probably horrifically wrong, um, but hey oh, it doesn't really matter. This is a, this is our first game anyway, so it's okay. Uh, we are going to be paying 5k for basic sounds. I'm fine doing that. Um, world design, world design is pretty important. Graphics are, graphics are pretty important as well. Sound is not really important. Sound can go, go away. Yeah, I almost swore there, but I didn't, because I'm a great guy. Uh, okay, let's go forward with this. Uh, we are running a little bit low on cash, unfortunately. 
However, after two and a half months, then uh, we're we're looking like we're almost gonna publish our uh, our first game, or third month now. Okay, good. Let's finish that up there. Eleven, eleven. Pretty good place to start off with. Quite happy with that. Awesome. Sweet. So it's a new topic and a new combo, which means we're getting a one point five. Uh, a times 1.5 bonus boost for it, which is always nice. And uh, what about Johnny Boy? Are you going to level up? No, not quite yet. 95 experience. I'm pretty happy with that. Let us release the game. Oh, now we can do lots of stuff. Oh, I think if we uh, if we generate a game report, then that gives us suggestions based on uh, based. It tells us what to do when. I think. I don't really know. We'll have to see. Uh, let's let's see what what happens first. Let's see what reviews we get. I'm really hoping on good reviews for this one. Come on. No. No! No! Come on. Falls a bit short. Well, you know, Informed Gamer, your review falls a bit short, I'm afraid, mate. Not much fun, Game Hero. You are not my Game Hero. And uh, Military and Simulation is a great combination. Well, thank you, all games. You really, really helped out there. Okay. Uh, well, I hope we get six sales, even though that, uh, you know, it's a pretty bad game, clearly. Uh, what, what, what do we want to do for our next game? A comedy? A comedy, perhaps. A comedy adventure. A comedy adventure. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work. Uh, let's call this one... Barrel Olaf's. There we go. There we go, because it's a reference to, like, barrels, because, you know, you get them in, like, adventure games, and you have to smash them up. Or maybe that's RPGs. Yeah, as you can see, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, PC, that's fine. And let's go next. I think I think that's pretty good. I like Barrel of Laughs. I think this is going to be a great franchise for us. I, I have faith. Of course, we want a 2D, uh, 2D Vector 1 or 2D V1 version 1 or whatever it is. I don't understand. Uh, 2D version 1 graphics, because who wants to play a text-based adventure? Maybe I'll play a text-based adventure on the channel if you guys want to see that. If you do want to see it, uh, leave a comment down below telling me. Uh, what is this? Oh, Potato Devco. A, new, a, a newcomer in the game industry has just released their first game, Karma 5000. The game has a moderate response from reviewers. Uh, we are curious what Potato Devco will deliver in the future. Well, undoubtedly more shite, uh, as, as we have clearly proven with our very first game. Uh, sales are alright, I suppose. Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, I suppose this is... I mean, what, like something like that? Yeah, maybe someone like that, I don't know. What, what do adventure games sort of have? Stories, quests, gameplay, yeah, you know what, screw it, let's do that. First week of sales. We could, that was all right. That was all right. I mean, it didn't make up make us the millions that we actually wanted to make, but maybe we'll have a slight little rise in second week sales. Not quite a rise, but definitely a, a consistency developing there. I hope. Uh, barrel of laughs. We want dialogues to be absolutely hilarious. We want level design to also be quite funny. So let's put that there. And artificial intelligence. No, we don't want any artificial intelligence whatsoever. Okay, uh, this this game looks like it's going to be an absolute blockbuster. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it. Uh, okay, comedy adventure. What does comedy adventure need? It, uh, sound a little bit, I suppose. Well, it needs a, it needs good world design. That's pretty apparent to me. Okay, world. Let's go all out on world design. This game is all about the world design. Just like that singer was all about that bass. I am all about the world design. Okay. Uh, I'm, ma I'm making that quite clear right now. All about the world design. Okay, Johnny boy, how you doing? Okay, we're up to 10 technology. Yep, yeah, let's finish the game there and uh, and get ready to stick it out in the market. Boom! New record, new topic, new combo. 1.5 times bonus. Awesome. Okay, we're consistently getting quite a lot of experience, actually, which is rather nice. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Oh, and Johnny Boy, you are getting 123 experience. How great are you? Okay. Uh, Karma 5000 is now off the market, and I don't even know if we made our money back. I don't think we did. It sold 8,078 units, generating 56,000 in sales. That's not very much, unfortunately. Um, I suppose we could generate a game report. I, the last time I played the game, I don't think I used these, um, but I think they basically just give you a rundown of if the game is actually 
what what's good about the game. Um, well, let's do a game report on Karma 5000 and see what happens. Okay, our first reviews for a new release game, Barrel of Laughs, came in. Come on, this could be the one that, that makes us big. Six is good. Quirky, but quirky's, uh, quirky's good. It's a comedy, so we want it to be quirky. Could have been better. Informed gamer, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, seven, game hero, enjoyable, not bad. And all games, I like it. Well, that's a crappy review. That's an absolutely terrible review. Ugh. Oh, well, what can you do, eh? We're doing a game report at the moment. Hopefully, we make it big. That's good week one sales. That's good week one sales. That is really good. Barrel of Laughs was so successful, we now have 30 fans. Wow. 30 fans. Yeah. That sort of, that sort of sounds like the extent of my YouTube career. Um, okay. Military Simulation is a great combo. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. Uh, the platform genre match simulation PC is great. Awesome. I'm, I'm happy to know that. Let us go straight into developing a brand... Well, okay. A brand new game. Um, oof, what should we do? What should we do? What about what about a military action game like uh, like yeah like something like Call of Duty? I don't really know what 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 sort of creative names can we come up with? Um, Call of Duty. What about uh, oh I don't know what about uh, call. Call of Johnny Boy. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's clear that Johnny Boy is the uh, is is the absolute is the absolute hero of this game. Um, simulation. Yeah. Simulation is good. But what are we doing? We're doing an action game. I think action games will be okay on PC. I think so. I hope so. Uh, of course, we want 2D 2D graphics because why the heck not? 2D graphics are the way forward. They are they are just the best in the world. Who doesn't like 2D graphics? Okay. Uh, engine is important. Gameplay and story and quests? No, not really. Gameplay is sort of important, I guess. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, looks like the Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Very, very worrying. Worrying. Uh, we don't like to see that. Because we want the PC. Because we always release on the PC. Because why would you not release on the PC? Woo! Barrel of Laughs has achieved a company sales record. With over 100k units sold. How great is that? That is awesome. This is an important milestone in the history of Potato Devco. Oh yeah. That it is. It is very, very important. Dialogues. No. Level design. Yes. Artificial intelligence. A little bit. I guess. There we go. Let's, let's give that a try. Who cares? Uh, it's just some crappy uh, military action game. I mean, they, they're they're coming out, you know, thick and fast these days, eh? Uh, graphics we want to be important. Sound we want to be important. And I don't know, do we want world design to be important? I think we sort of want world design to be important. Sound is also pretty important. Yeah, okay, screw it, let's do that. I don't I don't really know if that makes much of a difference, to be honest. I hope our game is is very highly reviewed. It looks like it's uh, look looks like it's quite te technologically advanced, should I say? So, I hope it turns out alright. Barrel of Laughs is now off the market. It sold 12,732 copies and 89,000 in sales. How great is that? Okay, let's finish that off. I think that's a good place to call, uh, to call, to call, the, to call the game done. Oh, so close to upgrading, uh, to, up, to leveling up engine. So, so close. Artificial intelligence. Oh, world design! We did it! Yay! Hooray! Johnny boy, you're not quite to the level where you're going to level up yet. Ah, uh, that's uh, that's a little that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, we also need to generate a game report on both of these both of these games that we've already done. Let's do Barrel of Laughs. Why not? That seemed to be pretty successful for us. Our first reviews of our new release game came in. Johnny boy, awesome. Is this the ten we're looking for? No, it's not. It's not the ten. It's not a ten. It's a six. A six is not bad. A five shows potential. Informed gamer. You're you're stupid. I hate you. You're just terrible. Uh, a seven. Whoa, a seven. That's pretty awesome. A beautiful all games. Awesome. I don't think I like informed gamers. Yeah, or, or informed gamer. They're a bit. Uh, they're a bit pernickety. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. 
Many industry experts expect that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. Okay, good. Well, it looks like week one sales are weaker than the last game we released, but uh, but whatever. Our post-release analysis of Barrel of Laughs is complete, and we got the following results. Comedy and adventure is a great combination. Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game. Platform genre match, adventure PC is great. Well, I'm very, very happy to hear that, actually. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call the episode there. If you want to see more, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Why would you not? It's great fun over at Albert Potatoes' channel. So, uh, so yeah, let's let's all subscribe and make me very, very happy. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Albert Potato. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!